Matthew chapter 5. And when he saw the multitudes, he went up on the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. And opening his mouth, he began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the gentle, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who have been persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men cast insults at you, and persecute you, and say all kinds of evil against you falsely on account of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward in heaven is great. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has become tasteless, how will it be made salty again? It is good for nothing anymore, except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do men light a lamp and put it under the peck measure, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all around the house. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your fathers in heaven. Do not think that I came to abolish the law of the prophets. I did not come to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or stroke shall pass away from the law until all is accomplished. Whoever then annuls one of the least of these commandments and so teaches others shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever keeps and teaches them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say to you that unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit murder, and whoever commits murder shall be liable to court. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother shall be guilty before the court, and whoever shall serve to his brother Raka shall be guilty before the Supreme Court, and whoever shall say, You fool, shall be guilty enough to go into the fiery hell. If, therefore, you are presenting your offering at the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your offering there before the altar and go your way. First, be reconciled to your brother, and then come to present your offering. Make friends quickly with your opponent in law while you're with him on the way, in order that your opponent may not deliver you up to the judge, and the judge the officer, and you be thrown in prison. Truly I say to you, you shall not come out of there until you pay the last cent. You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that everyone who looks on a woman to lust for her has committed adultery with her already in his heart. And if your right eye makes you stumble, tear it out and throw it from you. For it is better for you that one of the parts of your body perish than for your whole body be thrown in hell. And if your right hand makes you stumble, cut it off and throw it from you. For it is better for you that one of the parts of your body perish than for your whole body to go into hell. And it was said, Whoever sends his wife away, let him give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you that everyone who divorces his wife, except for the cause of unchastity, makes her commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Again, you have heard that the ancients were told, You shall not make false vows, but shall fulfill your vows to the Lord. But I say to you, make no oath at all, either by heaven, for it's the throne of God, or by the earth, for it's the footstool of his feet, or by Jerusalem, for it's the city of the great king. Nor shall you make an oath by your own head, for you cannot make one hair white or black. But let your statement be yes, yes, or no, no, and anything beyond these is of evil. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist him who is evil. But whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn to him the other also. If anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, let him have your coat also. And whoever shall force you to go one mile, go with him too. Give to him who asks of you, and do not turn away from him who wants to borrow from you. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, in order that you may be sons of your fathers in heaven. For he causes his son to rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. For if you love those who love you, what reward have you? Do not even the tax give the two the same? And if you greet your brothers 
only. What you do more than others, do not even the Gentiles do the same? Therefore you are to be perfect as your Heavenly Father is perfect. 